Holly, and if you know me at all, and you've been on my channel, you will know that there are a few things that get me really, really, really excited. Actually, there's probably a lot of things that get me really excited. There are a few things that just make me go a little bit more crazy than normal, one of which is Toy Story, because I love Toy Story. Also, carnival themes. But the third one, if not the number one thing, is Little Twin Stars. And I love remints, so anytime they come out with a Little Twin Stars themed remint, I freak out. So this was no exception, and I ordered this right away as soon as I saw it because it is so, so adorable. So this is the Little Twin Stars Twinkle Sweets Factory, and it just, I, there are no words for how excited I am to open this because there are just so many cute and adorable things inside of it. Not only is it Little Twin Stars, but it's also like baking themed, which is just absolutely perfect. So we're going to go ahead and open it. Yay! So this is set number one, and it's already adorable, and I'm sorry I'm going to say cute and adorable a lot of times. I can't help it. So <laughs> this is the basic pastry dough set, and on the back it comes with these little recipe books that you can cut out, and it's all in Japanese, and it's so adorable. And I think you can probably glue them back to back. Maybe that's how you're supposed to do it. I'm not exactly sure. But anyways, so here is the set. It is so tiny. This is really, really perfect for if you have a miniature kitchen set. Um, also, there's the Rilakkuma fridge set if you wanted to mix character things. But so the first thing is this mixer, which, oh my goodness, it is so adorable. So it is, of course, pink, like Little Twin Stars, and it has a star for the mixer part, which is really, really cool. I love when they incorporate the character in, like, every single aspect of it. Um, and then it says Little Twin Stars on the front here, which is really cute. And then they have this little yellow star, which I don't think that that moves. It's kind of jiggling like it's supposed to do something. I was going to say it'd be really cool if you could push it in this bun, but this is cool that it spins, though. So, very, very cute. And then it opens like this, which is so cool. It's super functional. It is really, really, really awesome. So, I really like that it moves like that. I think that that's a really nice touch. So, you get the mixer, and then you get the little mixing bowl, which has a little kiki on it on a moon with the handle. Very, very cute. It looks like metal. Very, very amazing. So you can stick that in there. And then you also get these two little characters. You get a little Kiki and a little La Lala. They are super tiny. I can't even show you barely. Look how tiny they are. So they're in that weird pose because you can stick them on the side of the mixer, which is so, so cute. So let me see if I can... Uh, don't fall in there. Oh, it's so cute! Look how tiny! How cute is that? She just fell off. Let me take the bowl out. Okay, well, they're really hard to put on, but look how cute! <laughs> Adorable. So cute. So those are really, really super, super tiny. Then you get a little flower sifter, and this one has Lala on it. And then the inside has like the little star for the sifting part, which is cool. And then you get a little tiny sack of flour, which is the most adorable sack of flour anyone will ever see. Amazing! So that is set number one. So this is set number two, which is called Chocolate Hug Cookies. And then on the back you get these cute little um, placemats type of thing. So this set is super cute. I will say that I, if I had to nitpick one thing, it'd be that I really wish that the sugar cookies had icing on them. I know they're supposed to be chocolate hug cookies with like the little chocolate piece on them, but I think it'd be so cute if they were decorated with like pink and blue icing. But anyway, 
So you get three little cookie cutters, which are the most adorable things in the entire world. You get the little unicorn cookie cutter, the little Lala one, and then the little Kiki one, which I'm sure you could probably just use with polymer clay if you wanted to. I don't know if I will try that or not, but it's really, really, really cute, and they're pretty functional as far as using them for actual... You can make little teeny tiny cookies. But anyway, so then you get the cookies themselves, which are still really, really cute, even though I kind of wish they had icing on them. But you see there's like the little teeny tiny star on there for the chocolate hug part. So there's your Kiki and Lala ones. And then the pony one, which is really cute. I really like the little unicorn that goes with little twin stars. Then you get the baking sheet, which is really nice and detailed. And then lastly, you get this little jar that's full of the little chocolate pieces. The jar has little twin stars on it, which is so cute. Even the little lid has a star on top. Now, inside are all of the chocolate pieces, and everything is stuck together except for one teeny tiny minuscule little chocolate piece. So this is like the tiniest, tiniest piece in a remint ever, I think, that I've had. So I imagine that this would be extremely easy to lose. Um, I don't think I, I think I might have lost maybe one piece in all of my remint sets and it was a teeny tiny thing like this too. So just be very, very careful with these teeny, tiny, almost microscopic pieces to remince because they are just so, so easy to lose them. So that is set number two. So this is set number three and it's called Decorated Eclair. And then on the back is a little page to the recipe book with the eclair on it. And then a little placemat thing. It's a cloud, and it has a bunch of blue stars in it. Candies or something? There's also a scoop in this set. The scoop's really adorable, and it has a bow with a star in the middle. But you do get the eclair, as the set name suggests. And again, there is a bow with stars on it, which is really, really cute. The eclair is super adorable. Then you get a little rack that has Kiki and Lala on it. I really like the style of it. The little kind of drying rack thing. And then there's this guy, and I think it's just a little bear um, that you see a lot with little twin stars. And he's holding the icing piping bag, which is super adorable. He doesn't stand up super well on this, I think because it's a little wrinkly, but there he goes. But yes, so besides me not entirely understanding this part of it, I think this set is really, really cute. So that is set number three. So this is set number four, which is the classic lemon pie set. And then the back just has some little placeholder thingies. I really, really like this set. I really, really like lemon themes lately. Like I really like the Rilakkuma lemon series and everything. So you get this really cute little half lemon which looks super realistic. And very, very textured. And the inside looks transparent as a lemon would. Then you can put it on the little juicer. Huh, and it even has a star on the bottom. So that's very cool. Then you get this giant pile of what I'm assuming is sugar. Oh, and there's like little stars in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like chunks of sugar that are shaped like stars. That's adorable. And then the bowl has little twin stars on the side. Then you get this super, super adorable. I guess this is supposed to be the pie part, um, but it looks like it's kind of like layered dough. And then I think this might be meringue. Um, if I'm not mistaken, 
but it's so, so cute. It looks really, really yummy, and I like the little detail of Kiki and Lala on there. I like how they browned it to make it look like it's been baked, so really, really cool, super, super textured, very nice. Then lastly, you get this little pot, and it has Kiki and Lala on the side. It's so adorable. I'm loving all of the metal bakeware and cookware that comes with this. Um, then you get the inside, which is like the, I'm guessing it's like the lemon custard, and then there's a little hole in it, and you can stick this in. I think this is supposed to be a thermometer. You can see the little tiny temperature on there, so that is super cute. little tiny thermometer. How cute! So I really really like this set. I really like the aspects of baking like the um, the measuring or the making the juice and the, the taking the temperature and everything. So very 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 cute. So that is set number four. This is set number five which is called Glossy Fruit Tart. So the cutest thing I think is the little tart. So it's just a little star-shaped cupcake, basically, with the vanilla icing and then the strawberry on top. It's really, really cute. It's really simple and plain, and I really like it. Now, my question is, there's this fruit topping that's in this little pot that's really cute with Kiki on it, or with Lala on it. Does that both? Yeah, it's Kiki and Lala on it. And it has like this um, glaze going, and then we have this really cute thing that says nappage. Does it really say nappage? That's kind of funny. I wonder why it says nappage. Okay. It's really, really cute though, the little bottle, and it even has like a little barcode on it. But so if this is like the topping... Like, usually I feel like they put it on this to show, like, that they go together. I don't know. And then there's, like, a cherry. There's two cherries. So, I'm slightly confused because this has a strawberry on it. And, like, I don't... I don't really know. I'm getting a little confused with this three minute right now. But it's still adorable. So, then you get this little cloud that has little twin stars on it. I think this is supposed to be, like, a cutting board of some sort, maybe. And then you get a little squirrel friend holding a pastry brush. So, I don't know. I think maybe I'm just confused. Like, are you... Are the, the little creatures glazing this guy with this? And is this cherry flavored or strawberry flavored? I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking way too much into this. I probably am. But I feel like the sets usually make more sense than this. This just kind of feels like a mod podge of things. But, again, it could just be me being a crazy person. So, that is set number five. So, this is set number six, which I'm really, really liking, and it's called Developing New Recipes. So, the first thing is this really awesome cooking scale. I think I probably have, like, three or four of these now with all the remains that I have um, from really Kuma kits mainly. Um, but you can never get enough kitchen scales, really. So, this is really cute, and it has a Kiki and Lala in the background and then the little gauge thing is a star so it's super cute the top is a star it's just really really adorable then you get this little pad of what I think is butter oh and it has a little star on it how cute I love how realistic it looks with the wrapping being pulled off of it I'm gonna assume it's butter but it looks really really cool then my favorite piece of this set is the little puff pastry, which is super textured and amazing. It has a little Kiki and Lala on it. Just looks so real. I just want to eat it. Then you get a little tiny thing of fresh cream. And it has like the vintage um, little twin stars. Like sometimes you see them, I think, as like normal humans, right? I think that's what it is. I'm not entirely sure. But this is a really, really cute little tiny carton. Adorable. Then you get a little scoop to go with the rest of the cook slash bakeware. And then you get the little kitty. Who is holding a little 
wand? I don't know if it's supposed to be a spoon. I think it's just supposed to be like a wand thing. I don't really think it has another purpose. So that's kind of odd. Like I feel like there should have been like a spoon in this set. I feel like I'm really hardcore judging this Riemann and don't think for one second that I don't absolutely love it. It's just after opening so many Riemanns, I feel like certain things just make more sense than others. But I super love it and it's super, super cute. So I'm not complaining at all. So that was set number six. So this is set number seven, which is called Jelle with Frosted Cookie, which I'm not sure if that's a common dessert in Japan to have jelly with a cookie. I feel like that's not super common here in America, but... I could be entirely wrong. So I really like this set and it finally came with a wooden spoon of some sort. I was waiting for there to be some sort of spoon or like something to bake with because I feel like there's not a whole lot of utensils so far in this kit. This raiment. So first you get this adorable bottle of cider. I don't know why they spelled cider R-E instead of E-R but it's still really cute. It has a little star top, and the label is adorable. Then you get this little pan with this strainer that's star-shaped, and then there's like the gelatin in there. It's very shiny. And this is cool because when you put it in here, it sits over the top. And then, of course, your little spoon to go with it. And then you get, and I just knocked it over, you get the little dish with the star on the bottom. And then you get the gelatin. And then there's a little cookie that goes with it. Like that. Super cute. <clears throat> so that is set number seven. So this is set number eight and is called the Special Anniversary Cake. And this is definitely my favorite set of this remint because I absolutely love cakes and cake stands and this is just super super adorable so it comes with a lid which is really cool like when they come with lids so it has a nice little star as the holder and then you get this most adorable little cake and it comes with a Kiki and a Lala and then this little white piece that says Kiki and Lala on it and they're supposed to be sitting on here but they're so tiny and I'm just kind of getting I'm kind of too tired to sit here and try to make them sit up, but they're supposed to sit up on the cake. Um, but then the cake goes on the cake stand, which is really, really, really cute. It's also huge, like compared to the cake. I feel like the cake is kind of tiny on it. Then you get the little bowl of icing, which is super cute and looks really, really like icing, like a lot to me. And then there's also Kiki and Lala on the bowl. And then you get this really cool little offset spatula for icing that I just dropped. With a cute little bow with a star in the middle for icing the cake. And it doesn't really stick in super well. So that is set number eight. So that is everything for the Little Twin Stars Twinkle Sweets Factory. It is a really, really cute remit with some really, really great pieces. So if you love Little Twin Stars and cute pastel-y things that relate to baking as much as I do, then you will love this set. I got it from fan21hk.com, which is where I get all of my remits. I will put the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye!